All right, welcome, Sean here. And uh, in this video, we are going to go over setting up a broadcast uh, and automation uh, and autoresponder inside GetResponse. Um, if GetResponse is the uh, autoresponder then you, that you chose to use, then definitely need to watch this video. Um, you know, this is the, the, the emailing portion and this is an email course. So this is definitely, you know, the bread and butter and the, one of the most important aspects um, that we want to be able to drive to you guys is, you know, setting up emails and getting your subscribers, the, you know, the, 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 the content that it is that you want to get out to them. Um, so the first basic aspect is setting up the emails and autoresponders and everything like that. Um, and or automations so that way they can receive your content um there are two different things uh the broadcast is basically you know a daily email or however often it is that you want to send out emails to your whole entire list um whereas autoresponders and automations are basically um the sequence that a, once a person subscribes that they will get added to and it will follow them um, it'll be a follow-up sequence, you know, of, of whatever content it is that you're, you're driving out to them on a regular basis based off of when and how they opted in, uh, to your list. So first thing we're going to do is, is we are going to go into setting up an autoresponder. So you're going to go over here to your trusty tool section right there. We're going to click on that and we're going to click on autoresponders. So we're going to create our very first autoresponder. Um, these are usually pretty quick and easy, so you can, you know, just name it autoresponder one. All right. So the linked list that the, oh, actually not so, oh, actually there's already a list. So the linked list that is there, um, one thing that you're going to want to make sure, actually, I should have done this first. Sorry. Well, let me stop. Um, okay. You're going to want to make sure that you have lists. Uh, you can create your lists here. Um, we already, there's always a default list. So that's the list that we're going to be referring to in this, uh, video, but you can create a list by just creating a list name. Um, and you can keep the list settings the way you want them. Um, you know, they basically stay the same or you can edit them when you create the list. Um, and you can create as many lists as you want and everything like that. So now back to the autoresponder part. We're going to create an autoresponder. We'll call it autoresponder one. And you're going to want to make sure that it's linked to the list that it is that you are um, setting up this email for. So if you have multiple lists, then just make sure that you toggle through this section in order to get it. But for right now, we only have this one um, autoresponder settings. So this is going to be the time frame of which the e email will go out to people. So if it is your main autoresponder and you're only doing the one autoresponder setup, then your first email, you're going to want it to go out initially, or maybe five minutes later or 10 minutes later, usually not longer than that. Um, because you want to stay fresh in their head. Um, I always keep it on zero, um, because that just means that it comes in the same time as sign up. It goes out instantly. Um, if you change it to anything else, then, you know, you can, you can set it up for, for a delay, right? So you could go a delay. Um, you can put it on day zero. So this will still be the first email that they get. And then you can put it on however many hours delay it is that you want it from. So if you're doing the multiple AR setup, um, you're going to want to stagger your ARs. So let's say you have this one that's going to go out as your, uh, initial. So it's going to stay, um, at the same time as sign up. But if they are going to, if, it, if you're staggering them and you know, your active campaign is going to be your first one or get response is going to be your second one or, or third one or whatever it is that you're doing, then you're going to want to stagger them accordingly. Um, I generally would do it like, you know, if active campaign is the initial, then I'll do get response one hour later, a web or two hours later, this way it's, you know, not, um, all going emails are not all going out at the same time. So then we're going to set that up whichever way it is, but right now, so we're going to set this one up at the same time as sign up. Then you're going to choose your from email. Um, you're going to always, it's going to usually default to your Gmail, um, but you're going to want to uh, select the sending email that we've put in there. Um, then you're going to put in your subject line. So we gave you guys the 500 swipes um, for you guys to have access to and everything like that. 
We'll go more in depth on how to properly use them. Uh, there's going to be a couple of pro tips underneath this section of videos. And in there, we're going to show you guys how to actually, you know, make these, um, these emails more user friendly for you guys and, um, you know, transfer it out, not transfer it out, but it's, you're going to be able to change them around and everything like that so that they're more unique for you guys and everything like that. But for right now, we're just going to, you know, take all of that information and we're going to just put it in an email so that we can create an email. So we're going to do a copy here. And then once we got that in there, then we're going to want to design and, uh, and put in the content. So they give you a whole bunch of different templates you have, or you can choose your templates if you have any. Um, I generally like to just choose uh, the blank template and I'll use the one column one because that's the most basic because I generally only do text emails. Um, I don't really put a lot of images and everything like that into my emails. But so this is what it's going to look like once you get to that section. So we're going to click on text here and we're going to just drag it in there. And then that's it. We already have all of our text in there. So we'll go back to that uh, swipe file and we'll grab that content really quick. And then we are going to just put it in there. It all comes out pretty good. I like to make sure that it is always set up on Arial. Um, that has to do with the pro tips that we're going to give you guys a little bit later. But um, I like to make sure that it's set up on Arial and I like to get either 16 or 18. So we'll just make sure we put it at 16. Um, and now what you're going to want to do is, is you're going to want to put in your links. So you're going to highlight whatever it was that was bolded um, on these emails or wherever it is, you know, you're getting your emails from whatever the content is that you really want them to click on. So you're going to highlight that. You're going to click on this little insert link button right here and we're going to just put in a link. I'm going to put in Google because I don't really have anything right now. Whoops, not Gmail. Uh, can't type. All right, let me just highlight that because we're going to do that a couple times. We're going to insert that link there. We're going to insert this link here and we're going to insert this link here. Now, if you notice, they changed it to this blue color like this. If you wanted to change that, you can come up here and you can change that to any color that you want that's up there. Um, I don't mind this blue sometimes. Sometimes I like to change it. Sometimes I like to make it red, stand out a little bit. Um, definitely want to try to make sure that it's a different color than um, the black text. But yeah, that's that. Uh, so that's pretty much it. Now the email is all set up. You're going to click on next. And it's going to you know go through a spam check and tell you whether you're good or not. Um, we're going to do a little bit later a more extensive spam check uh, to show you guys how to do that. But that is pretty much that. And we're going to click on save and publish. And that's it. Your first email is now set up. Uh, the first autoresponder email is now set up. It'll tell you where the cycle is. Um, it's going to say you want it to send zero, which is the first, you know, immediately right after sign up. So when you go to create a second one now, I'm not going to create the whole entire thing, but I'll show you the setup. You're going to send this up on one day after same at the same time as sign up or you can put it on a 12 hour delay um like if you're let's say the the first you want to send it up set it up to go every 12 hours so you could do on the zero day which would be the first day that they came in with a delay of 12 hours then this email will go out so that means it will go out 12 hours after the initial email had gone out um but for the sake of you know, general autoresponders, I recommend just doing one a day, um, one here, one there, unless you're using an automation, then it gets a little bit less confusing, but, um, that's how you would set that up. So this would be, let's say one day, and then you would go on to the, you know, setting up all the content and everything like that. And then it would be a, a, another one. So then you would have two emails right here where, you know, one would say on zero, then one would say on one. Um, and then here you get, you know, these nice statistics. It'll tell you how many people you've delivered it to, your open rate, your click-through rate. Um, and once you're able to analyze these, you're able to know which emails are doing good. You can try to switch things out, make it a little bit better for yourself and, um, you know, optimize and, and everything like that. So that is setting up an autoresponder. So now we're going to go into setting up a, a broadcast. So you're going to click on email marketing this time. 
And a broadcast is basically sending out, you know, just the email to the masses. Um, you're going to want to broadcast a couple times a day. Um, and you're going to need to know how to set it up. So we're going to set up a newsletter is what they basically call it in get response. So let's click on this button here and it's basically going to be the exact same thing. Um, the, 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 the setup aspect doesn't change except for when you come down here. So let's just set one up really quick with you guys. Um, we can actually create the, use the exact same one. So we're just going to, what I like to do is instead of naming them autoresponder one or email broadcast one or whatever, I like to put the name, uh, the, the title of the email. Um, I like to do that because when I'm going through and optimizing, I see which ones are doing well for me, which ones aren't doing well for me. So I know which ones not to use later on down the line. Um, so then we're going to, you know, make sure that we have our from and reply email to our domain email, and we're going to put the subject back in there. Um, this is really cool thing that they have actually, um, that I didn't mention before. They also have like subject line generators. So you, once you upgrade, um, then they can give you like an AI one that will like take your subject line and then generate some, some new ones for you. Um, that's pretty cool. If you are, you know, looking for more unique content, if you're using the 500 swipes, but you don't want to be sending out the same emails as everybody else. Um, we have another option, um, that we're going to show you guys later in the pro tips, but this is also pretty cool. Um, then you're going to click on add your recipients. So adding your recipients, you're going to choose the list that you want to be sending your broadcasts out to. Uh, if you have multiple lists, then you're going to just choose the one when you only have one list, it's going to default to all lists. So you'll just click on add there. Then we're going to go in and design the email. If you've already created um, past messages, like we just did just now, you can use existing messages and then it keeps that template. So you can use the same template and you see all the content is there. You just change this content really quick, change up the links and everything like that. Or if you want to resend the same email, then you just do it that way. So we'll do it that. Now we're going to want to keep the click tracking on. And here is where you will schedule your broadcast. So if you want it to go out the second that you're making it, then you're going to click on send immediately. Otherwise you're going to schedule it. Um, and you just click on the little calendar thing. It'll tell you where you want to set it. You can change the time. You can do anything you want and you will set it and schedule it. And that's it. You're, you're done. So then you can go to manage my newsletters and you will see that this campaign is ready. It's scheduled. It'll tell you the date and time that you're going to be sending it on. And it has also the same, uh, you know, delivered to X amount of people, the open rate and the click rate, which is good for optimization as well. So that is how you set up a broadcast. Now let's go into the automation tool. The only thing I don't know is that if we're using a free membership, if they allow us to use the automation tool and get response, um, think they might let's see all right cool yes they do so you can change and edit your um, automation up here and like I said before automations are basically using uh, doing the same thing as an autoresponder so if you're gonna choose uh, that you want to build an automation then you're not gonna want to do an autoresponder or if you're gonna do an autoresponder then you're not gonna want to do an automation um, I favor towards automations. Um, Gabe actually favors towards autoresponders. So it, it doesn't really make a difference of which one is which. Um, we have found that automations do take maybe another minute or so longer to go out than autoresponders. Um, if that's not such a big deal, sometimes it is for us, sometimes it's not. Um, but if it's not such a huge deal, then you can use either or. It doesn't really make a difference. So let's just give it a new name. AR. So AR is standing for autoresponder. So if we're building one for an autoresponder. So we're going to click the trigger point. The trigger point is that we want uh, something for them to uh, subscribe to a list, right? So let me turn off this tutorial. Um, you're going to select which list you're going to choose a specific list because you don't want it to go to any list. You want it to go to a list that you are building out this automation for, right? So we're going to select our email mastery list and that is that. So we can take this and this is cool because you can move it around. You can put it anywhere you want um, for visual purposes and everything like that. So now what we're going to do is, is we're going to click on add element. And here, when you go to click on add element, this is where you're going to get your actions, right? These are the things that you're going to want to happen once the person subscribes to the email. So we can send a message 
or we can wait. Those are the two general things that um, we'll end up doing. And again, it has to go back to whether or not this is your first AR, or second AR, if you're using multiple ARs, staggered, which one goes where, everything like that. So in this case, let's just say that this is gonna be our second AR, right? Let's say we have active campaign that is going to be sending the email initially. So what we're gonna do is, is we're gonna click on a wait for this one. I'm gonna bring it over here and then you're just gonna get this little toggle line. And this connects this to this. So now it has it automatically by default, a wait for a day, right? We don't wanna wait for a day if this is a brand new opt-in. So we're gonna click on that. We're gonna get rid of the zero and we'll just put one hour. You're gonna leave all of this the same. Um, and you might wanna turn on run multiple times. There's reasons for that. Um, if you want to loop an AR or something like that, which is something that we could get into maybe a little bit later. But for right now, just put on run multiple AR, uh, run multiple times, I'm sorry. And then we're gonna click back on the add element and we're gonna send a message, right? So then we're gonna drag the line to that again and then we're gonna click on the thing and they're gonna want you to create a message. So this basically is the exact same setup as before. You come in, we'll name it email one in your automation. Make sure that everything is set up the exact same way. Let's go back and we can do that same email that we did before just for consistency purposes. And we're gonna design the email. We already have an existing message on it, so we can use that. Or if you don't, then you build it out using the Blake template. So all of this content is there. Again, if you don't have it, then you're gonna you know, wanna add a text bar, you're gonna throw it over here, and you're gonna just add the content and do everything that we did previously in the other, email, uh, in the other part of the, the previous part of the video. So we're gonna click on next and that's pretty much it. All you gotta do is click save and finish. And that's it, your first email is now set. So when somebody opts into this list, they're gonna come here, they're gonna wait for an hour and then they're gonna get this email and then they're gonna come to whatever is done after the automation. So generally we would put another wait time, right? Cause this is gonna be like an autoresponder or you know, something like, you know, constant emails are going to be coming to these people. So we're going to have them either wait a day, wait 12 hours, wait four hours, whatever it is that you, the campaign that you're building out, you want it to do. This is where you would set that up. Then after you have it all set up and everything like that, then you're going to want to come over here and you're going to hover over where it says save and publish. And we're going to just click on the actual save and publish. Now what this does is, is this actually makes the campaign live. So now it's here. You can see all your workflows. When you click on workflow, you have your automation AR, you have this little toggle button that tells you whether it's published or not. So, you know, once you know, if you want it to be live, then you have to make sure that it's published. Um, it'll tell you that, you know, it, and then it'll tell you how many people have been in there and how many people are in there. Um, they don't really give the statistics on it. You, in order to find statistics on this, you have to go into, where is it, reports, and then you would find the statistics on the, the actual automation itself. So that is that. Um, so that's pretty much how you would set up everything in your get response. Just, you gotta make sure you remember that if you are setting up an autoresponder through this autoresponder section right here, then you don't want to set up an automation to do the exact same thing. So you choose one or the other, um, and then that's going to be your, your, your setup. Um, but you cannot have both at the same time, because if you have both at the same time, then a person will opt into your page. They will get two emails at the same time of the exact same one. And that's going to kill your open rate, kill your, you know, conversion rates, everything like that. And they're just going to get multiple emails of the same one going out to them. And it's just not something that you want to do because you want your subscribers to constantly open and click your emails and, you know, see all the value that it is that you're providing them. So make sure you either set up one or the other. I just wanted to make sure that you knew how to set up all of them. So that's it for this video. Um, make sure that you check out the pro tips underneath this that is going to show you um, a bunch of different tricks um, that we have for you guys that will show you how to make sure that you land in the inbox um, of your subscribers so that you can get all of the uh, clicks and deliveries and, and make sure that you're inboxing and everything like that. So make sure you check all that stuff out below and I will see you guys in the next video.